Hello and welcome back to the Southern Cyborg Cooks. I'm Craig Hall and today I'm going to be making some pig shots. They look like little cups and you just fill them up with some cream cheese and whatever you want to mix into it. They're really good. So stick around and let's make some appetizers to carry to the next party you go to or even for your tailgating crew. That's good stuff. The first ingredient is going to be this Philadelphia cream cheese. Next is about three quarters of a cup of diced up pineapple. This is the rub I'm going to be using today. It's called Pineapple Head Sweet Tropical Rub. I'm just going to put a teaspoon of it right in with the mix. This is what we're going to fill the little pockets of bacon with. Once you have it all mixed up like you want it, you just want to throw it right into a Ziploc bag. Push as much air out of it as you can. Zip it up. Put it to the side. We'll get back to this in a little bit. Hey, what I'm using today is Hillshire Farms beef smoked sausage. I'm gonna mix the beef and the pork and the cream cheese all up in one little neat package. It's gonna be good. It's gonna cut the tip off so you got a smooth, flat surface on either side. Cut them about a half inch thick, just like that. I got some great value thick sliced bacon. I'm just gonna cut the bacon in half. Okay, I've been practicing. What I'm doing is leaving the sausage laying flat and just running it around just like this. When you get through doing that, just take the toothpick, pin it. Now you got this little cup to hold your cream cheese mixture. And we're just gonna do this again and again until we're either out of bacon or out of sausage, or both. This part here is really easy, and there's no cleanup at all. Just throw the bag away. And you can put anything in your cream cheese mixture that you want to. We'll top each one with a piece of pineapple. All right, finish this up to carry it to the grill. I put a piece of pineapple on top of each one I've hit it with a good little dusting of pineapple head sweet tropical rub. Now I'm going to transfer it to this wire rack right here. And when they're all on the wire rack, we're going to the grill, which by the way is preheated and ready to go. And once we get the lid on, we'll get that temperature down to where we want it. Whatever you do, don't forget to put the piece of wood on the charcoal. That cherry wood's rolling now, and the temperature's coming down. We want it to level off about 275 degrees. Hey, take a look at that temperature gauge. It's hovering all over that 275 degree mark, and these pig shots are looking good. But you know what? They're looking even better in slow motion. I'm back in the kitchen now, and you can see right here, and I got 20 little pig shots right in front of me. They were on the grill for one hour and three minutes before I checked it. And when I checked it, they were ready. They've been cooling for about 10 minutes. And now it's time to try one of these little things. So I'm going to start out with this one that's right in front of me. Can you see that? Well, here we go. <laughs> right on cue, here comes my little taste tester. <laughs> Did you hear them peep? Well, there you go. This is the Hawaiian version of the little pig shots. And it's been good. It's easy. You can do it. I hope you'll try it yourself. If you like what we're doing here at the Southern Cyborg Cooks, subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you know every time that I put out a new video. 
and I'll see you next time. Take care.